Hello again, okay. Here in this video, as you see, it's a reply video. It's a reply video to this news article, and that's the name. Okay. And I've got some things I want to show you here, and I want you to remember UNESCO, United Nations. I want you to remember the sexual education plan. I want you to remember that uh, in today's society, love has been replaced with lust, sex, materialistic items, money. We all have the ability to treat each other like shit, okay? And I want you to remember for all the people out there that's replaced love with sex, where this type of shit's going to lead us, okay? Right down the roll of hell. That's what it's going to be, just right down the roll of hell. And now, watch what i got to show you, and I'll be back with you momentarily. Okay, what do you see here? Yeah, you see Jezebel. You have a bitch from hell. You see a bunch of young girls here, right? Eight, nine-year-old girls. Look at the way they're dressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, why is it important for nine-year-old girls to be sexy? That's right. Well, let's say it's a guy here. Studio owner Abby Lee decided in order to win competitions, her eight, nine-year-old students need to wear skimpier outfits and do more scandalous dances or as she told the little girls you must have you must be really hot sexy make it like you're 17 years old yep now isn't that disgustingly sick yes of course it is but here's this article here and then I want you to remember this okay I want you to remember Aaron Russo feminist well, at the house Let's tonight and uh and we talk, and we talk, and we start laughing. Say, Aaron, what do you think of this nation is about? And uh, I said, I, I'm pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. I said, I think it's that women have the right to work, they equal pay with men, just like they want the right to vote. You know, and he started to laugh. He said, You're an idiot. And I said, Why am I in here? He said, well, Let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded women's league, you know. And we're the ones who got all the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you know why? He said, there were two primary reasons. And they were one reason was we couldn't tax half the population before all of us lived. And the second reason was now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. This is what breaks up the family. The, the, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials. As their family, not as the parents teaching. I want you to remember that last part. And this part right here is the part I want you to remember. The second reason was, now you can get the kids to school at an early age. You can indoctrinate the kids how to think. This should breaks up the family. The, the, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching. Okay, now remember that. And let's watch this. I respect your creativity and your talent. But that was over the top, inappropriate for little girls. I think you, both, you and I both know that left you very uncomfortable to see my little girl on stage gyrating, smacking her butt in front of everybody. When, when they went down and opened her legs, I, I almost walked out. I mean, that's. I, and you know what's so weird? It's your child. We loved it and wanted to do it. Yeah, I know. But it's our job to protect her, to protect us, not encourage them. Exactly. Like, it, well, it really is. I am the coach. I am their teacher. I make creative decisions. And I have to stand by them. And if you don't like it, get up and walk out of the auditorium. He's a child. He's nine years old. Yes. And and go ask your nine. Excuse me. Go ask your nine year old if she likes what she's wearing. It doesn't matter what her kids say. It's not their decision. It's our responsibility to get a parent. People are looking at us. They are judging us. Like, who knows what they're wearing? They're judging you? Absolutely. I'm the mother. I love her baby. Well, then maybe you should not come. You need to stay at home. And your daughter should come. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is like the queen of hearts. Off with her head. Like, she's never reasonable. She never can understand and listen to somebody else's point of view. It's always like done. I'm a mom. I'm emotional, and I cannot stand to see my child. Okay, let me ask you two over the top. And I need to go right now. I have something to Christian Holly verbally assaulted me. When a parent opens their mouth, they are ruining their child, and that's what they need to think about. Everyone is replaceable. That's the first thing you learn in my studio, and that is the last time it will ever happen. It should not have happened. Chloe absolutely loves the costume, loves what she's doing, is a very talented little girl, but her mother's going to ruin her. It's obvious. 
Well, who do you think is going to ruin here or here? See, uh, remember what Aaron Russo just told you. And remember what you're seeing going on right here. Now, I want you to remember John Bonet Ramsey. What happened to the Ramsey family up in Boulder, Colorado? What happened to their little daughter was up dressing up like an adult, like a little slut, showing off their body. That's right. Do you remember that? Okay. Now, the reason I showed you Aaron Russo. And just part of what he said the right here. The second reason was, now you get the kids to school at an early age. You can indoctrinate the kids how to think. This is what breaks up the family. You can indoctrinate the kids in how to think. You can break up the family. You can destroy morals. You can fuck up society. The, the, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents. Teaching. That's right. The school is the officials. And right here, what did she tell you? parent opens their mouth, they are ruining their child. And that's what they need to think about. Everyone is replaceable. That's the first thing you learn in my studio. And that is the last time it will ever happen. It should not have happened. Chloe absolutely loves the costume, loves what she's doing, is a very talented little girl, but our mother's going to ruin her. It's obvious. Does she? So we put the sex trade first, so let's check out what she's talking about. This is what she's talking about. <laughs> Yes, and they're applauding it. Uh huh. And you think that's the first time it happened? I want to remind you of uh, Barack Obama and the United Nations, UNESCO's plan for sexual education to the children. I want you to remind you of what's become number one in society is sex. I want to remind you of these kids' ages. I want you to remember John Bonet Ramsey. And it's not the first time this has happened because check this out. <laughs> You catch my drift? Do you follow my drift? And if you haven't followed my drift by now, then I want you to look at this. That's right. Ten years in jail. Who had sex with a schoolgirl 11 and got her pregnant. There you go. What's number one in society, people? Sex. Isn't that what all you people replace love with, is sex? Oh, I know, but you say it's wrong to do it with children, right? But you're going to allow UNESCO, United Nations, Barack Obama, to push sexual education on your children, teaching them how to masturbate at five years old. You're going to allow your kids to get into a situation like this and dress up like what you just saw and get up there and flaunt their stuff. That's right. And then you're going to wonder why this type of stuff happens right here. Yep, then you're going to wonder why John Benet Ramsey, the Ramsey family up in Boulder, Colorado, you've seen what happened to their daughter. 
then you're going to wonder why that happens. Hmm. Shouldn't it be common sense in your face why this shit is happening? This is uh, what we've allowed our society to come to. And remember what Aaron Russo told you? Do you remember what he told you? Remember them the words. Was, now you get the kids at school at an early age. You do indoctrinate the kids how to think. This is what breaks up your family. The, the, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family. That's right. It's the schools, as the official, as their family. And remember what she said? Parent opens their mouth, they are ruining their child. And that's what they need to think about. Everyone is replaceable. That's the first thing you learn in my studio. And that is the last time it will ever happen. It should not have happened. Chloe absolutely loves the costume, loves what she's doing, is a very talented little girl, but her mother's going to ruin her. Right, she's talented, right? She's so talented that she's going to wind up being raped. She's so talented that she's going to wind up what? Possibly you have been another John A. Ramsey happen? Hmm. Okay, yeah. It's going to end up like John A. Ramsey. Or there's going to end up, uh, these kids are going to end up uh, getting raped and killed. Or they're going to go out there and show off their stuff and then get pregnant at a young age. That's right. Get a sexual disease at a young age. That's right. Be furtherly uh, documented by the schools. That's right. That's right. Teaching them good, ain't they? That's right. What would you think about the female dance instructor there? Yep. She was really good, wasn't she? She fits right into one world government, don't she? She couldn't understand what the mothers were saying because it was above her head. Because she thinks she has the right to control somebody else's child. So it's no longer your child, people. That's right. When you send your children to school, you used to own your children. And now the government owns your children. Sickening enemy. Leave your comments and opinions. Next video, you have a good one. Well, why can't we just let kids be kids, at least when they're five? Now we have sex ed in kindergarten? This week, hundreds of outraged parents showed up at a school board meeting in Elena, Montana, carrying signs upset about the school district's plans for a new sex ed curriculum. Again, starting with kids as young as five, teaching them about the body parts, proper terms. Here's a few of them. Penis, vagina, nipples, testicles. For a five-year-old, and you move on to first grade, taught about same-sex love. Fifth grade, we get options for sex, including anal penetration. That's a 10-year-old. Helena, Montana parents furious with their school that wants to teach kindergartners sex ed and plans to teach kids about different types of intercourse by the age of 10.